Liberty Flames get the W here tonight inside Williams Stadium, 21 to 13 over the Presbyterian Blue Hose. My name is Nick Pierce alongside Matt Camary and Matt. The Flames were trailing 10-7 to the Blue Hose entering the fourth quarter, but a couple of big plays to get it done. Todd Macon with a touchdown run to put Liberty ahead, and then Jimmy O'Grady with an interception to seal the deal. Yeah, we knew coming into this game that the Presbyterian defense was really good. They could fly to the ball. Todd Macon, luckily was able to find some creases, get around the edges, had some great blocks downfield to set up some of his touchdown runs. What opened up things in the fourth quarter, do you think, for the Flames? Because really they had struggled to get the run game going at all through the first three quarters. I think it was just a lot of persistence. They knew they wanted to run the ball, establish a run game, had some passes in there. Josh Woodrum connected with Petey Peterson a few times, which helped because they hadn't first three quarters. So that helped open it up a little bit. Todd Macon was still able to find some creases. Des Rice also played a big factor in the run game. Uh, offensive line ended up dominating uh, in the fourth quarter. I think it was just the persistence of the offensive staff and the, t and the guys just saying, hey, we got to get this done now in the fourth quarter. Todd Macon finishes up tonight with 67 yards rushing. A couple of touchdowns for him. Give him eight on the season now. And I had a chance to catch up with Todd in the Flames locker room as well as some of the other Flames and Coach Turner Gill after the ball game. It's definitely a blessing, man, being a part of this offense, man, being a part of this team. I'm just trying to come out here and compete and do the best I can to help this, uh, uh, this team. We needed a gut check like that to get us get us ready for next week. We got a big another big conference game with Chuck South, who's undefeated in the conference. I believe, I mean, this was a good game to get us focused and prepare for those boys. I mean, I went from zero to 100 real quick. I mean, <laughs> like Drake said, it's from zero to 100. I mean... Jimmy got the interception. I'm jumping up on the sideline like I'm a little girl. But it was definitely a blessing for Jimmy to go, go up and get that play. I just saw it. I was just thinking to myself, don't drop it. Just get your hands on it. And as soon as I got it, it just kind of felt natural just to take off and run. And then, you know, just, I tried to score. But then when I realized I wasn't going to, I was like, just get down. Just give the offense the ball back. So Honestly, once the offense scored, we, you know, told ourselves we have to go out there and finish. We haven't finished every game this year. And that was our big thing this week. Just, you know, finish this game. And we went out there and just we did finish. Uh, it was great to see our defense, our offense, special teams, everybody came out and made plays when they had to make plays. So I think that showed that our guys got good character, they got good fight, and uh, they still believe in what we can get done here the rest of the season. You know, Matt, even after the Flames scored to take the lead, they went up 14-13. Game was still far from over. Presbyterian had about a little less than four minutes left and two timeouts. They could have come down and kicked the field goal, and then on that last drive, also could have come down and potentially tied the game with a, a touchdown and a two-point conversion, but the Flames up to the task defensively. Absolutely. Defense, Ben, don't break. That's exactly what they've done all season. Jimmy O'Grady able to keep his composure, found the ball. They got tipped straight up. It looked like it got tipped up a mile. Was able to come down with it, made a great return on that, and then Tyron Holloway sealed the game. We knew that PC coming into the game struggled throwing the ball, and it showed in that last in those last two drives. Yeah, I don't think the win came the way that the Flames wanted it to. I think they would have liked to have come out of here put the pedal on the uh, the foot on the pedal a little bit early got a little bit more of a comfortable lead obviously that didn't happen but Liberty able to come out and find a way and still find a way to make them one dimensional there down the stretch as you said struggled to throw the football Ben Cheek just three of 18 passing tonight with three interceptions two of them there late in the fourth quarter but overall this Flames defense how do you feel like they played tonight I feel like they played well early in the game the defensive line didn't didn't set didn't get into the trenches, dig down as much as we had seen them in the past. Uh, Chima ended up leading the way again for those guys, played really great up front. We saw Jerron Green with a big tackle for loss also mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. So as the game progressed, the defensive line definitely became stronger and uh, controlled the front. I think still some questions here on the special teams part. John Lunsford had a field goal blocked here tonight, but uh, moving forward, it's still it's it's not a confidence thing in John because you saw Turner Gill run him out there. He was ready to run him out there from 60 some yards. Yeah, it was about a 61 <laughs> yard field goal. He was willing to try, and he ended up getting the kick off after the timeout had been called, and it looked like it had enough. Couldn't really tell from up top, but yeah. When he's really strange play, by the way, with the, with the penalty after that. Very strange that there was a penalty called. I really didn't understand the explanation of that. But I tell you what, I love seeing John kick from 50 out. It's exciting, man. <laughs> no doubt about that. Well, coming up here, the Flames now have two games left. They've got a pair of top 15 opponents, Charleston Southern, who won today to clinch the automatic qualifier and at least a share of the Big South Conference title with their win over Kennesaw State. So now the Flames will head to North Charleston next weekend, a place where they have not lost since 2005. You've got Charleston next weekend. Coastal Carolina back here on this field a Thursday night on national television to round out the regular season. Still a lot to play for. Tons to play for, Nick. Tons to play for. You want to go down to Charleston and make a statement down there. I mean, like you said, we haven't lost there since 2005. You want to make a statement. Charleston Southern's a very good football team with a very good offense. You want this defense to come out firing all cylinders next week. And, of course, beat Coastal Week. Can't wait for that game. 
Yeah, not, not much you have to say to get the guys fired up not for at all. that one. So the Flames now with a win, 5-4 and four on the season. They're 2-2 two and two in Big South play. Liberty heads to Charleston Southern next Saturday. In Lynchburg, for Matt Camary, my name is Nick Pierce. Again, the Flames win it 21-13 over Presbyterian.